What's up with it, everyone? Paul from Tunnels Production here, and today we are going to be going over the Goats of Warding locations in Resident Evil Village. Now, to go ahead and start off, we're going to start with the first one, which is right after you arrive to the village after the big Lycan attack, you're going to head inside of the graveyard, which is right where you enter into, and it'll be sitting in that stand with a placard reading about the Goats of Warding. And that will be your first one. For our second and third one, though, our second one is a little bit further after the first one. You're going to head inside of the church area and right on top of the roof. And once you look up, the goat of warding will be sitting right up there, ready for you to go ahead and shoot it. For our third one, though, it's a little bit further as you guys are heading towards Louisa's house and get to these uh, cornfields. You're going to go ahead and keep to the left side of the map and you're gonna head all the way to the end and you're gonna find these stairs that lead up to this wall and our third goat of warding is going to be sitting right up there at the wall like I said there's the graveyard where the first one is the second one is right up here at the church and the third one is all the way over here to the left side of Louise's house Moving on to our fourth one, the fourth one is after you get to Domitresk's castle at the vineyard. It's after Heisenberg captures you and you escape from the big lichen attack over there. Once you get to the vineyard, you're going to come over here to the right side by where the scarecrows are sitting around. And it's going to be sitting right over here on this uh, like little pile of snow aka also a little pile of rocks and that will be your fourth goat of warding like and now if you guys enter Domitresk's castle you won't be able to get this you'll have to restart the game so make sure you do not enter Domitresk's castle when going for this one for our next one inside of Domitresk's castle after you uh, open up the little pool full of blood, you're going to head down here through this ladder to the distillery. Once you get down the ladder, you're going to go ahead and turn directly around. And it's going to be sitting right over here behind this little torture chair. And that is your fifth coat of warding. Our sixth one is after you shoot the bells and you get this door open that leads up to the attic. You're going to go ahead and climb up the ladder all the way to the top of the attic. The second you hit the top of the attic, you're going to go ahead and spin right around. And it's going to be sitting on these boxes right behind it. It's just going to be right on top of them and ready for you to go ahead and take. Now, some of these are not here when I'm showing them because of the fact that I actually ended up getting them in my first and nine playthroughs that I played before I recorded this video. So this is after you get out of Domitresk's castle and you head past the ceremony site at the bridge. There's going to be two lichens, a third one that's going to be down here. And inside this little small area that this lichen is sitting at, you're going to go ahead and find your next goat of warding. The next one is after you get back into the village from the ceremony site, you're going to head back to the church and you're going to come to the back part now that you have the insignia key from Domitresk's castle. It's going to be sitting right over here in this pile of snow, snow to the right of all of these uh, coffins, not coffins, all of these like cemet uh, bleh, cemetery site buildings. So it's going to be right there behind the church. For our next one, once you're heading through the village to get to the Red Chimney, it's going to be right across from where the Insignia uh, door is, and it's going to be sitting on this little uh, scaffolding that's right outside of this small house where a lichen is sitting in and the Madalena doll is inside of. For our next one, once you're heading to Benevenito's house and you go to the bridge, the second you touch the bridge, you're going to look directly to your left at this other bridge next to it, and the Goat of Warding is going to be sitting right there upon that bridge. For our next one, once you get to the Benevenito house, you're going to head all the way to the left to this little uh, courtyard type area, and right behind the fence is going to be your next Goat of Warding. For our next Goat of Warding, after you do the Benevenito house and you head to Moreau's, once you get to the first windmill, you're going to come all the way around, don't touch the crank just yet, and right over here by these logs, your next Goat of Warding is going to be sitting, ready for you to go ahead and shoot. For our next Goat of Warding, it's a little bit further through uh, Moreau's area. Once you get to the part where he's chasing you down at the big giant fish monster, you're going to get to this part where you have to push this little uh, cart off. It's going to be basically at the center of the whole entire thing. You'll see the other windmill directly ahead of you. And on this little uh, 
fish pole, or not fish pole, but like pole in the middle of the water, you're going to go ahead and get your no next goat of warding. After you beat Moreau and you kill him at the very end and you drain the dam, um, the reservoir, you're going to go ahead and head back to where the boathouse is where you got the boat at the beginning of Moreau's area and you're going to come all the way down here and on this little trash pile there's going to be your next go to ward and this is also where the chest is where you can get the other angel statue. Moving on when you're heading towards the stronghold you're going to come to the left side of this like side path and it's going to be at Otto's Mill for the treasure. Once you get to Otto's Mill you're going to go directly through the water and right underneath sitting on another uh, like station for the goat of warding that's going to be your next goat of warding ready for you to go ahead and shoot it and moving on to our next goat of warding moving on once you get inside of Heisenberg's factory and you're gonna come to this part where there's like this uh, turbine spinning and it's going to try to pull you in you have to actually shoot the big red button on it in order to stop it and a cutscene will ensue where the turbine or the fan I don't know why I keep calling it a turbine. The fan will stop spinning, it'll break, and it'll blow all the way to the other end. Now, instead of going directly straight how you're supposed to go, you're going to come all the way back where that uh, where that fan actually ended up blowing out of. And right over here, sitting on top of these barriers, there's going to be this other goat of warding ready for you to go ahead and take. Moving on past that once you get to the elevator you have all full lures unlocked at the end where you need to get Heisenberg's key on the elevator you as you're going up and down you're going to find the go to warding scene on the very left side once you're looking towards where the uh, the panzers and the soldats are being made across now I ended up not actually realizing that I even got this one or that this one even existed until way later and I ended up just taking a screenshot of it somewhere in one of my gameplays where I ended up not getting it. I don't know how I got that one. I didn't even know it existed, but it's whatever, right? Moving on to our next one. At the end of Heisenberg's factory, after you kill Sturm, right outside of the room where you killed Sturm, you're going to come all the way over here to the side where the cigar is and Heisenberg's diary is sitting, and there's going to be this little small, small crawl space that you can crawl inside of. You're just going to go ahead and crawl inside, and the next go to warning is going to be sitting right over here on this barrel. After the Heisenberg fight and Mother Miranda, you're going to end up being Chris for a section of the game. Once you get to the Mega My Sight, My Seat, you're going to go ahead and head all the way to the right after the cutscene. And sitting over here on this little island area where there's some ruins is going to be your 20th and final Goat of Warding for you to go ahead and pick up and get the Heretic achievement. It didn't pop for me right away. I was really confused. But I ended up looking and I did get it via the challenges. The uh, achievement actually ended up popping later, which I will show. But anyways, that's all the goats of warning. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And we'll see you guys in the next Resident Evil Village video and next video in general. Without further ado, goodbye and remember to be timeless.